14 in economy, was replaced by a two-class 206-seat configuration, 16 in business and 190 in economy. Range is 4,000 m, 7,400 km, 4,600 m, 500 m, 930 km, 580 m, farther than the regular 93.5 TOA 321neo, thus making it the first version of the A320 family to have true transatlantic capability, thus replacing the Boeing 757 in the middle of the market. The A321LR will have the cabin flex layout and was to be first delivered in Q4 2018. Certification was aimed for the second quarter of 2018, with a program including tests with one, two, three, or no additional center tanks and a transatlantic flight on the 13th of February. Test flights included a leak powered, long range 4,100 m, 7,600 km, 4,700 m, flight by great circle distance, flown in near 11h and the equivalent of 162 passengers over 4,700 m, 8,700 km, 5,400 m, including headwinds with 5 crew and 11 technicians. Airbus announced its joint FAA forward slash EASA certification on the 2nd of October, 2018, including it tops up to 180 minutes, allowing any transatlantic route. As original launch operator Primer Air ceased operations, the first was delivered to Israeli carrier Arkaya while 120 orders have been secured from about 12 operators, Norwegian, TAP Air Portugal, Air Transat, Air Lingus, Air Astna, Air Arabia and Azores Airlines will receive this from 2019, and Jetstar and Peach in 2020. On the 13th of November, 2018, Arkaya received the first of 321LR, featuring 220 seats in a single class and to be deployed to London, Paris, Barcelona for up to 5H sectors, or to Zanzibar and the Seychelles, saying it is the first narrow body more efficient than the 757 to 300 it operates. In April, 2019, JetBlue announced its intention to use the A321LR on routes to London from Boston and New York City. The airline has converted 13 of its orders for the A321neo to the A321LR to serve these routes. The airline started its service from New York JFK to London Heathrow on the 11th of August, 2021, and to London Gatwick on the 29th of September. A 321XLR, edit. In January, 2018, Airbus stated that it was studying an A321LR variant with a further increased MTO needing a strengthened landing gear. With a lower density cabin it was expected to fly almost 5,000 m, 9,300 km, 5,800 m, it would cover more of the market segment likely to be targeted by the Boeing new mid-size airplane. The proposed A321XLR with a range extended to 4,500 m, 8,300 km, 5,200 m, would be launched in 2019 to enter service in 2021 or 2022. Integrated in the fuselage to save weight, the center fuel tank would be enlarged. As of July 2018, about 200 300 m, 375 60 km, 233 50 m of the targeted range increase had already been secured. Additional work would be needed to achieve the remaining 200 m, 370 km, 230 m. In October 2018, the A321XLR was proposed to Air Transat and AirCap. Air Transat could reach southern European destinations such as Split, Croatia from Montreal and Toronto. 
In November, Airbus indicated that the A321XLR would have a tow of over 100 t, 220,000 pound, and 700 mi, 1,300 kilometers, 810 mi, more range than the A321LR with the same wing and engines, increased fuel capacity and strengthened landing gear. In January, 2019, Air Canada expressed interest in using narrow-body aircraft for transatlantic routes and was considering options including the A321XLR and the Boeing 737 MAX. Commercial Launch, Edit The A321XLR was officially launched at the Paris Air Show on 17 June, 2019, with deliveries at that time expected from 2023. Its design offers 4,700 mi, 8,700 kilometers, 5,400 mi, of range and features a new permanent rear center tank, RCT, for more fuel, strengthened landing gear for a 101T, 223,000 pound, MTO, and an optimized wing trailing edge flap to preserve takeoff performance. The RCT will hold 12,900 L, 3,400 US gal, of fuel, the equivalent of 4, 3,121 L, 824 US gal, current additional center tanks, acts, yet has a weight equivalent to a single act and takes up the cargo hold space of two, a forward act can also be fitted if necessary. As the Sharklets lowered takeoff and landing speeds, the switch from a double-slotted to single-slotted inboard flap will reduce complexity, weight and drag. The FMS can set intermediate flap positions. The revised design could be applied to other A321neo variants. Orders from several lessors and airlines were announced at the show, starting with Middle East Airlines which ordered four A321 XLRs, making it the launch airline customer. Elise Corporation ordered 27 A321 XLRs alongside 23 other A321 NEOs and 50 A220-300S. IAG quoted a $142 million list price as it committed to 28 aircraft, including 8 for Iberia, 6 for Aer Lingus, plus 14 options. Quantas Group placed an order for 36 XLRs, to be operated on routes between Australia and Asia, and is also set to be one of the launch customers. American Airlines converted 30 of 321neo orders to XLRs and ordered an additional 20 XLRs. Indigo Partners also placed an order for 50 XLRs for its airline divisions and Frontier Airlines ordered 18 bringing the total number of commitments announced at the show to 243. Some are cautious about the potential market. Lufthansa sees the variant as a niche aircraft less comfortable than wide bodies, and a large lessor is hesitant as it expects a 400-500 aircraft market. Airbus argues that the minimal changes mean it can be used as a regular A321neo and ALC forecast potential for 50 operators in the next five years. The market could prefer shorter turnaround times to more range. On the 29th of October, 2019, Indigo placed a firm order for 300 A320neo family aircraft including 69 A321XLR. On the 3rd of December, 2019, United Airlines announced an order to purchase 50 new Airbus A321XLR aircraft, with deliveries beginning in 2024, to replace their Boeing 757-200 fleet. Valued at $7.1 billion before discounts, $142 million each, United plans to use these aircraft for additional destinations in Europe from its East Coast hubs in Washington and Newark, New Jersey. In April, 2020, 450 orders for the XLR had been received from 24 customers. In March, 2023, 
465 orders for the A321XLR were received. In July 2023 Iceland Air ordered 13 XLR. Manufacturing, edit. The XLR needs 10-15% more work than an ACF, itself requiring 30% more work than a standard A321 NEO. Engines used for now generate 33,000 lbf, 150 kn, of thrust and could be sufficient, and no more than the 35,000 lbf, 160 kn, already certified are needed for the XLR. The XLR is a low risk, high commonality variant but more substantial upgrades could include a composite wing or a stretch. By April 2020, Airbus had cut the first metal for the center wing box, while Safran had begun undercarriage forgings production. Premium Aerotech will manufacture the specific aft center fuel tank primary structure. Spirit Aero Systems will build the inboard single slotted flap. FAC AG will produce a modified belly fairing while Collins Aerospace and Parker Aerospace are developing the fuel systems. By August 2020, Premium Aerotech had started producing the rear center tank for the first of 321 XLR in Augsburg, to be transferred to Airbus's Hamburg plant in early 2021. By April 2021, a standard A321LR fuselage section had been withdrawn from the Hamburg production line for use as a pre-industrial system accelerator to test the integration of XLR-specific systems. At St. Nazaria, a nose section was serving as an integration test bed for a new instrument panel assembly, before being used to analyze structural reinforcements needed for the XLR. By then, Airbus had completed the first center wing box 16 months after the first metal cuts, with 200 modifications from the standard design, delivered from Nantes to Hamburg for structural assembly. The fuselage sections, wings, landing gear and tailplanes of the first test aircraft were delivered to the Hamburg final assembly line in November, and its structure was completed by early December, among three planned development aircraft, and before entry into service in 2023. The first of 321XLR prototype was rolled out in May 2022, equipped with CFM Leap engines. The first flight took place on the 15th of June, 2022 from Hamburg. However, entry into service was pushed back to 2024 from the original 2023 to address fuel tank issues raised by regulators. A revised design with special conditions was approved by the United States Federal Aviation Administration in December, 2022. Operators, edit. Main article, list of Airbus A320 family operators. There are 1,282 A321 NEO aircraft in service with 88 operators as of February 2024. The five largest operators are Wizz Air, 102, Indigo, 94, American Airlines, 80, China Southern Airlines, 56, and Turkish Airlines, 54. 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 321 Neo. Orders 119, 81, 341, 183, 346, 287, 532, 360, 965, 208, 616, 531, 562, 26, 169. 
deliveries 20 102 168 178 199 264 317 34 1282 accidents and incidents edit as of march 2024 there were zero fatal hull loss accidents of the a321 neo specifications edit variant a 321 neo a 321lr a 321 xlr cockpit crew two two class seats 206 16j at 36 in plus 190y at 30 in one class maximum 244 at 28 inches cargo capacity 51.70 m 1826 cubic feet forward slash 10 ld 3 dash 45 s length 44.51 m 146 feet wingspan 35.80 m 117 feet 5 in wing 122.4 m 1318 square feet area 25 degrees sweep height 11.76 m 38.6 feet fuselage 3.95 by 4.14 m 13.0 by 13.6 feet width height 3.70 m 12.1 feet wide cabin maximum takeoff weight 93.5 t 206,100 pound, 97 t, 213,800 pound, 101 t, 222,700 pound. Maximum payload 25.5 t, 56,200 pound. Op empty weight 50.1 t, 110,500 pound. Fuel capacity 23,490 L, 6,205 US gal, 32,853 L, 8,679 US gal, 45,753,48,874 L, 12,087, 12,911 US gal. Engines, 2, CFM Leap 10. 78 in 2.0 m fan pratt and whitney pw 1100 gjm 81 in 2.1 m fan maximum thrust to 143.05147.28 kn 32,160 33,110 lbf speed cruise mac 0.78 450 kn, 833 kilometers per hour, 518 miles per hour. Maximum, Mach 0.82, 473 kn, 876 kilometers per hour, 544 miles per hour. Ceiling 39,100, 39,800 foot, 11,900, 12,100 m. Typical range 3,500 m, 6,480 km, 4,030 m, 4,000 m, 7,410 km, 4,600 m, 4,700 m, 8,700 km, 5,410 m. Engines, edit. Aircraft model certification date engines take off thrust maximum continuous. A 321-271 in the 15th of December, 2016 PW 1133 GJM 147.28 kN, 33,000. Yes, let's uh, stop the video.